Yeah, we we're out in the shop again this evening. Kind of stepped back out here and behind the shop, and I wanted to. Kind of interesting, as you can see in the horizon over there, uh, smoke from the fires are starting to bleed over into the valley here. Kind of neat as the sun sets there, all purple. But, and uh, you can see the chemtrails. Uh, I haven't seen these for uh, all summer long. Uh, this spring, man, this sky would just be... It, it, it looked like those clouds over there <clears throat> in the mornings. Uh, they were, there were so many of them in, at night, but uh, they're kind of kind of interesting here with the sun hitting them. And, uh, yeah, haven't seen those for a while. I don't know if it's just the weather conditions or what, but boy, you can really see the the, the fire is actually back behind me. <clears throat> Well, uh, towards uh, northeast of me, and I didn't pinpoint exactly where they're at, so I couldn't tell you, probably 40, 50 miles away, up in the mountains. We live here in a, in a valley, and anyway, it's coming up and over the foothills and, and uh, bleeding down here into the valley which is normal for August. Uh, luckily so far it's been, uh, it's been pretty good. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, I was going to uh, walk back in the shop here. I, I was going to cut uh, the doors for the uh, <clears throat> oven on a rocket stove and so I kind of want to maybe do a little bit uh, live uh, fabrication here so I don't know I'm gonna try to have to uh, the only way I can do this uh, I need to get the tripod out here get figure out how to get this camera set up on it and uh, gonna have to patch a couple of these together uh, and so Anyway, if you're seeing this, that means I figured all that mess out. It's not my, uh, not my cup of tea. But anyway, I guess at least uh, we'll uh, show cutting out uh, one of the doors here. Uh, and if it doesn't, uh, safety out here uh, on the little hole that I put in there for some reason. So let's see if it does it again. That's how quick cut out a little door out of 16 gauge. And the only thing is my corners aren't sharp, so I gotta go take them and kind of square them up a little bit so that it bends correctly. Well, as I was walking to the house here, it's a little bit darker out. <clears throat> And uh, you can see the, I'm not so certain that maybe we don't have another fire that started. Uh, down here in the valley, maybe uh, somebody's burning a field or uh, a non-farmed area caught on fire, some sagebrush or something that, uh, you know, there's over in that direction is all farm ground uh, so I'm not sure uh, sure what what's going on but like I say it sure looks like it's coming up uh, from the ground over there uh, as you move over towards the north here you can just see a, a real thin cloud layer over and I, I yeah, I don't know which which direction this stuff is coming from anymore. <clears throat> I 
I would say that uh, the cloud we're looking at now uh, is from the forest fires up northeast of us and uh, I would say that's uh, something burning all over off on the distance uh, like I say either a farmer's field or there is a hill over there that uh, is non-farmed uh, some residential areas I don't know if that would have uh, lit up or what but anyway interesting thought I'd share